Hello guys, welcome back to e Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the toughness of a material. This is one of the mechanical properties of a material. The toughness can be defined as it is the energy absorbed by material during the loading. So we can define the toughness that it is the energy absorbed by material during the loading. So, or we can say that it is the area under the stress strain curve area under the stress strain curve so these are the two definition for defining the toughness of a material what is meant by the energy absorbed when the load is applied on any object then it will start to absorb energy so the energy absorbed by this material during the loading will be the toughness of the material the more energy absorbed by material the more tough will be the material or we can say the higher area under the stress strain curve the more tough will be the this material so if i took two example to explain the toughness of a material let's consider this is the stress and strain graph and these are the two material where the stress strain graph of the two material has been shown here now if i consider that this is any material which is a wood material and after the load application on this material the wood will try to deform so when the stress applied on this wood so it will increase the stress and also the strain so this is the stress and strain curve for this wood material and up, in reaching up to the maximum stress it will break and will collapse so we can say that there is no plastic deformation in this material but it reaches up to its maximum stress and doesn't show any plastic deformation plastic deformation is very less in this material after reaching its maximum stress it doesn't deform plastically so we can say that very less amount of energy has been observed by this material and very lit, less amount of stress can be seen here on this side and very less amount of strain is reached in this material so if we consider this steel material on the other side steel so by applying the load on the steel material we can this is a wood material this is this was the graph stress and graph for the wood material but if we look into the steel we can see the graph of the steel it reaches to the yield stress and then after it start to take again the load and reaches into the maximum stress or we can say the ultimate tensile strength so this is the maximum stress that is being taken by the material and also this material will take the load load until a, a rupture at this point so by looking into this curve we can clearly see that this is a high amount of stress has been taken by this material and also the high amount of strain has been can be seen in this material and also if you look into the two graphs the high amount of energy has been observed by this material upon loading and also high amount of energy has been observed by this material so if you look into the graph this graph the area under this graph is very little this area the end the area under this curve is very less as compared to the area under this curve if we see into this big curve the area is huge under this curve so the more energy absorbed shows the higher amount of area under the stress strain curve so this shows that high amount of energy has been observed by this material which is a steel material and while the wood shows that very really less amount of energy has been observed by the wood so it clearly shows that steel is more tough material as compared to the wood this was all about the toughness of a material hope you guys understand the main difference the toughness is basically the energy absorption of a material or we can say the area under the stress strain curve is the toughness of the material hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video